everyone, I hope you're well. I've actually been at home for quite a while now, but really not much is going on, which has made me do quite a lot of shopping for clothes for this summer. I mean, that together with the fact that restrictions are all starting to ease now, I am genuinely so excited. I mean, I'm having to restrain my excitement a tiny bit, because when I go back to school, I've got some pretty important exams, but I'm pretty sure they finish on the 10th of June, which means 11 days later, we're all free. I honestly cannot wait. Anyway, I'm gonna get started because I've got so much to show you. I think I'm gonna do it shop by shop, and uh, the first shop I'll show you is Urban Outfitters. First thing I got is this gingham corseté top. It does up with these little hooks at the front and then obviously this bow. And the back's got a bit of elastic in it, which I'm actually quite a big fan of because it's less restrictive than a normal corset. I was quite apprehensive though when I was buying it because it was modelled with a pair of pants. And my mum was like to me, are you sure that's not a set of underwear? But with a pair of high-waisted jeans, I actually don't think it looks too bad. The next thing I got is this green halter neck top. I don't know if you can actually see the colour. It's quite a deep green and then obviously the blue lining. I quite like it with white jeans, actually. I mean, it would look a bit better with a tan, but hopefully that will come. Oh yeah, the back. The back is quite exposed. I mean, it's not too exposed. Actually, half my back's out. But you'll see what I mean when I show you the next top. I actually got both of these things. This is just like a classic low-waisted skirt. Usually I go for high-waisted skirts, but last summer I decided that high-waisted skirts are quite restrictive. Like, I don't know, whenever you bend over, they just like jab into your tummy. That might just be the skirts that I've worn before, but yeah. So I thought I'd try low-waisted. And I'm actually a fan. I mean, it's got a bit of rum, which is nice. Anyway, the next thing is this top. You see what I mean, how it's pretty similar to the green one. Well, they're identical, apart from the back. This is the back. There's there's, there's nothing to it, and it's a bit see-through. They're my only criticisms, but other than that, quite a nice outfit. I also got this dress, which I actually really like. I don't know what the back looks like. You can tell me if it looks nice from the back or ugly. But yeah, I'll show you the pattern. It's this like satiny material, and with, I don't know, are these flowers? I think they're flowers. That was actually really stupid of me. Of course they're flowers. What else do they look like? The one thing I don't like are the bows. They make me feel like a bit of a doll if I'm being honest, but once they're gone, I think we've got a pretty nice dress here. Oh yeah, by the way, the next thing I'm gonna show you is really ugly. I think it's really ugly. So if you think it's ugly, don't worry because we're in the same position. I don't know why I bought it. Hang on, let me just put it on and show you. Right, ready? Okay, I actually don't know if I wanna show you this. <laughs> ugly what was going through my head it's just like bodycon dress made out of a horrible jersey material it's got a disgusting pattern on it i genuinely went downstairs to show my family and i've never heard people be more rude about an item of clothing in my life i actually ordered this with like green flowers over the top and urban actors sent me the wrong one so like i got two ugly blue ones and to be honest i'm not mad about it like no bone in my body cares because just the fit of this dress like it's not doing me any favors is it it's it, it is horrendous. I need to get out of it. Anyway, the last thing I got are these green velvety shorts and actually these black ones, which are just a bit longer and made out of tracksuit material. They're both from, I never know how to pronounce this. Is it? Okay, I'm not even going to attempt it. Something France. I used to think it was Let's France. I'd go into Urban Outfitters with my mum and be like, do you like this Let's France jumper? The people in that shop must have thought I was an idiot. Surely though, lots of people make that mistake. Like, it's actually a really hard name to say. Anyway, there's not much else to say about these. They're not very exciting, but I feel like they're gonna be quite useful. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to Zara. Right, the first thing I got from Zara are these green jeans. I think I've shown you these before, but I didn't try them on. So this is what they look like on. I'll step back a bit so you can see the full length fit of them. They're a really nice fit. They're like kind of wide leg, but then fitted on the bum. I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. They are quite bright though. I said this last time. So I think I just wear either a white top or a black top or I guess a black and white top, but probably not another color with them because I feel like that would just be a bit too much, you know? Anyway, moving on. Right, so next I got this top. I mean, it's not really meant to be a top. It's meant to be like a bandana scarf thing. But when I wear it like that, I look like a pirate and just look awful. So I'm going to stick to wearing it like this. I had one of these last summer, wore it a couple of times and loved it. And so I think this is going to be this summer's one and end up being pretty useful. The pattern, I don't really know what it is. Kind of looks like buckly things, but it's in quite a nice colour. So yeah, I'm a fan. And also, it goes pretty well with these jeans. These jeans I'm actually obsessed with. Like, I think they're going to be my jeans of the summer, you know? They're like wide leg, just white. Can't really go wrong, actually. Zara jeans have really pulled through with these. I mean, 
Don't get me wrong, I do love a good pair of Urban Outfitters jeans, but these are like half the price and they're a really nice fit. So I recommend you go and buy yourself a pair. Anyway, moving on. The last thing I got from Zara are these jeans. To be honest, they're not the most summery, but I just love the fit. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I'm quite pleased actually with my Zara order. I've not shopped at Zara in years, just because obviously the shops aren't open. And their website, I've got to be in a specific mood to go shopping on the Zara website, because it's just such a task. Like, why is it so hard? Why, why don't they improve their website? Anyway, I'm now gonna move on to Subdued. Right, the first thing I got is this white boob tube, quite plain, but I feel like they're actually gonna be really useful. I say they because I actually bought it in red and black as well. I did buy the wrong size though. I am gonna buy a size up just so it's a tiny bit longer. But I feel like you can wear these with quite a lot. I think these boob tubes are gonna be, you know, my staple for the summer. And I got these jeans. I love these jeans. I know I've bought a lot of jeans, but I like jeans, so that's why. And they're just like low-waisted flares, pretty nice to be honest. Oh yeah, sorry, really quickly, I know this is boring, but if you want to buy them, probably quite helpful. Basically, the size seems a little bit funny. I bought my normal size and the size up. Tried on my normal size, literally did not fit me at all. So yeah, if you're buying them, I would definitely size up. This outfit is quite plain. I probably would spice it up with a pair of sunglasses. Let me try on some sunglasses, see what it looks like. So we've got these ones. <laughs> What are we thinking? I actually put these on for a picture on Instagram the other day. Posted it, thinking at the time, like, oh, it's fine, it looks okay. Looked back on my Instagram, I had to delete the picture because I was like, you just look like a loser with those glasses on. So yeah, I don't think I would wear these glasses. You know what? You never know. And then the only other thing I got from Subdued is this red jacket. I bought it because I had this vision of what it would look like and it's not really lived up to that vision. I don't know, just the arm length. It's just a tiny bit too short in the arms. It just doesn't really fit right. So I think I'm gonna send it back. Okay, right, On to the last two things. I got this top. It's a raglan, raglan. I don't know how to pronounce it. I bet I'm sounding like an idiot now, but you know what that is, top from the Ragged Priest. And I actually quite like it. It's not the most summery thing to be honest, but I feel like on a cold day in a British summer, you could probably get away with wearing this. And finally, it's this top from No Emotions. It's an Instagram shop, but I'm pretty sure they've got an online shop as well. But I really, really like this top actually. It's like silky material and the color's quite pretty to be honest. I feel like I could really dress this up. At the moment, I'm literally wearing the completely wrong thing. I'm wearing blue linen trousers, even though it's trimmed in black, but genuinely, I don't think I can put on another pair of jeans after trying on all those jeans for this video for a good couple of days. So that's why. Anyway, that is all of the clothes that I've bought for summer. I'm looking at it now and some of it isn't actually very summery, as in it's more springy. Is that even a word? You know what I mean? Okay, so I've done a bit of research trying to find out what this word is, you know, to describe something that's from spring. Like summer, it's summery and then wintry. And I think autumn's autumnal. But what is it for spring? Because it's not springy. Springy means like elastic-y. What is it? Can someone please help me out here? I feel like because the weather in England is so varied, I probably could get away with wearing most of this in the summer. Anyway, I need to tidy all of this up, but I'll see you soon.